Hello, welcome to the presentation for A-Level History. The History Department at Cardinal Newman offers you the opportunity to develop your GCSE History Studies through the AQA A-Level History course. The History A-Level course is a course designed for enthusiastic historians with an inquiring, analytical mind, giving you the opportunity to study the Tudor dynasty and 20th century America. The course is broken down into three components, which develops your evaluative and critical thinking skills, as well as preparing you for undergraduate writing. In component one, you will study the Tudor dynasty from Henry VII to the Elizabethan era, exploring the character of these iconic monarchs, the religious and foreign upheavals of the time, as well as the intricacies of their private and public lives. You will develop your evaluative knowledge of this significant and fascinating period of English history. In component two, you will study the reality and illusion of the American dream from 1945 to 1980, encompassing the dramatic changes after World War II, the far-reaching changes during the 1960s, the impact of Kennedy and his assassination, the challenges of the late 1960s and 70s, including the Vietnam War, and the Nixon presidency, finishing with the ramifications of the Cold War with Russia and the pre-Reagan era. Finally, you will have the opportunity to complete your own 3,000 word critical study of a chosen historical period either the origins and events and consequences of the Salem witch trials in 1600s America, or the causes of the Irish conflict. You will develop your research skills, engagement with historians' theories and primary sources, as well as developing your ability to formulate your own evaluative argument. The style mirrors that of undergraduate essays and so adequately equips you with the skills needed for higher education. History is an academic A-level and requires you to take an independent approach to your study and analysis of historical knowledge. Lessons predominantly take the form of knowledge acquisition, discussion and evaluation, offering you the opportunity to debate your ideas and then transfer these to coherent and cohesive written responses. This is a course that takes place as much outside of the classroom as inside and is suited to those who are keen to demonstrate their skills beyond the lesson. It is an incredibly wide-ranging course that is suited to all those who love history. An understanding of history is essential in helping us to ensure a better future. Despite the wealth of knowledge available on the internet and the accessibility of social media, people continue to turn to the past for enlightenment and guidance. It is in this way in which our shared history continues to convey important messages of empowerment and progression to across generations that maybe want to study at A level. I thoroughly enjoyed history at GCSE, yet I always found it was the deeper analysis and perceptive evaluation in the impact of history which I found the most enjoyable part of my studies. This led me to choose history at A-level. Within the course, my favourite moments of study have been the escalation of the war in Vietnam, and especially the opposition to this it faced in the US. If you enjoyed conflict and tension at GCSE, then America is especially captivating, as you get the chance to explore themes of power, reputation and race, as well as incorporating historians' ideas into your essays. You also study the Tudors, learn about themes of rebellion, that influence your coursework. Studying the rise of nationalism in Ireland and exploring Ireland's war on independence and religious conflict in the 19th century. You will also study the reigns of monarchs, enabling a deeper understanding of Tudor England and the problems monarchs such as Henry VIII and Mary I faced throughout their reigns. In addition to this, history offers the chance to learn about a variety of presidencies following World War II and the effects they had on America and how they handled various policies either benefiting or worsening the US. As you can see, the course is extremely diverse and caters to a range of students with a variety of contexts, allowing you to broaden your knowledge and strengthen your analysis. What I like most about history is how every event we learn about has affected our lives today, whether it's England split from Rome in the 1530s or protest movements in 1960s America, such as civil rights and the feminism movement. 
A-level allows you to voice your ideas more in smaller classes and have a critical conversation and debate about your own responses to a text, offering you an opportunity to go into much more depth about the things you find interesting at the GCSE. I've always wanted to go into law and so knew that the written and analytical skills that history offers would be a great way to open the door to such a career. However, A-level history gives you these transferable skills which are really valuable to almost any career pathway. Even if you have no idea what it is you might want to do in the future, the subject will give you the evaluative and communication skills imperative to any degree subject and easily transferable into any workplace setting. Most of all, history is a truly enjoyable subject which will challenge you to critique your ideas and become a perceptive and critical thinker. If you liked history at GCSE, then you will honestly love it at A-level.